Now, we all know the importance of starting the day off right. Someone who does that each and every day and has as long as I have known him is this man right here. So today, Cameron is sharing his calming morning routine for all fitness levels that all of us can do at home. You really need nothing except your own body weight and maybe a mat. It's so true. It's so true. You know, you, you obviously you hear a lot about meditation, uh, but which I do, sitting still and meditating for sure. But all, for a lot of people, they, they'd rather combine it with a little bit of movement. So I do both. So for years now, every single morning without fail, I, sometimes I get up at four in the morning to get this in there. I've talked about this on the show before. I do meditation with movement. There's different forms of this. And today we're going to do a, a version, basically, you know, commonly known as sun salutations right. in yoga. But it's so great to start your day so you're you're moving your body gently you're combining it with your breath and if you do it mentally with it with a positive intention to set a positive intention for the day then you're working out your body and your mind in a beautiful way and so what I do to begin is I start with that intention okay to improve not only my body the way I feel physically, but also my mind so that I can be more happy and joyful through the day for my own happiness, right. but also, and I think most importantly, so that I can try and be a benefit to those around right. me. So that's really my intention before I start all of this. And yoga, they call it Shakti. There you and go. it's the it's the soul kind of shining out, and this is how you do it. It's really important. And and by doing this in a calm state, by the way, you're more likely to bring it into your day like that. You can just wake up and think it, that's great, but it's sort of more of a surface level with your mind. By doing it like this, it gets a little deeper. It's more likely to be uh, impactful. And in your by day. the way, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. It feels so good, and anyone can do it. It's any level, like I said. But before you decide that you want to try anything new as far as workouts go, make sure you consult with your physician first, just in case. Okay. Okay. All right. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna keep it real simple. We're gonna go through some of the movements. You want to step at the forward, the bring it over your mat or your rug or wherever you are, and this is where you want to start and just take a moment to kind of check in with yourself. You can close your eyes, connect with your breath a little bit, allow it to deepen, and when you're ready. We're gonna inhale and do the first uh, movement here. So we're gonna come in and we can put our, our hands if we wish, or we can keep it at our side if we prayer. like, but into a prayer position here. And then as we inhale, we can bring our hands up and we're inhaling right now and stretch out nice straight spine. I think I had my feet a little close together. You want them to have a more um, shoulder width apart. And as you oh exhale, you wanna bend your knees a little bit and you wanna bring your hands down to the floor. And what you can do is you can relax your upper body on your bent upper part of your legs and you can be here for a bit, this forward fold position. And now we're on the inhale. So now on the inhale with your hands on the ground, you reach your right leg back, let that knee come down in the lunge, let your hips sink a little bit here. And this is where you're gonna look up and then as you exhale, you're gonna bring, gonna go up into a plank and bring that left leg back with your right leg. So now we're in the plank. And now your knees come down on the inhale, chest up, and you can keep your uh, midsection up like this. And now we're gonna go into the cobra. Now belly's on the ground, shoulders are relaxed, feet are flat on the mat like this, and you're kind of stretching up a little bit. If you're not comfortable, keep it like this. If you really wanna get crazy, you can kind of keep it tense in your, in your lower back and really kind of flex. Uh, your glutes and your lower back. It and feels now, so good in your back. It feels your really neck, good, absolutely. But just don't push yourself. And now we want to tuck our toes under. And on the inhale, we're going to push ourselves back into what they call downward dog. And feel that stretch oh along your calves, along your hamstrings. So and on the inhale now, we're gonna reach that right leg forward between our hands. Now you see, I kind of cheated a little bit on that because this one's hard for me. So I had to kind of like work it up here. That's fine. You could also drop that left knee and really work your foot up. If you're comfortable, we're back into the lunge again. So let those hips drop and look up. And now on the uh, exhale, we bring that left leg up forward. We're back into the forward fold here position, hands gently on the ground, upper body resting on our bent knees, spine nice and straight. Now we're gonna inhale, come back up, overhead, feet shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna exhale, hands down again, and back into the prayer <sighs> position if you want. You can have your hands uh, at your chest like this, or you can keep oh, them by your nice. sides. I and will now, tell you something else that does. Sure. For someone who wears high heels all day, it really stretches your tootsies. So if anyone is wearing heels, this is so great for your feet, ladies. There you go, that's great. We, and now I wanna end, so obviously you would go, you wanna do these in sets of two because we did the right leg back and the right leg forward first. So you'd wanna do it again so that your left leg goes back and your left leg forward. So you always wanna do two, four, six. Make sure you breathe slowly, you take it easy, you rest when you need to, everybody. Now, if you did all that movement's too much, you can also just find a place to sit, cross-legged, whatever's right. comfortable, and you can really just do the first two movements where you're sitting here and you can just breathe in, stretching up, getting that spine like a string is pulling your spine, and as you exhale, just bring your hands forward on the mat and stretch it out as best mm. you can, 
and you feel that stretch, you'll feel it in your hips and in your back. Oh my goodness. And then you can inhale back into your seated position, stretching up. And then you can exhale down again, and you can bring your hands back into this prayer position if you feel comfortable, if you want to just kind of relax them on your legs. And you can repeat that as well, if that's a little bit easier. And by the way, it all comes down to the mind, keeping a mind of gratitude, keeping a mind of kindness and benefiting others. Uh, it's going to make you joyful. And check in with yourself how you feel, felt before and how you feel after. Deb, how do you feel? I feel amazing. I mean, truly, just a few stretches gets the blood flowing, gets the oxygen going through your blood, and you feel beautiful. And you know what? Namaste. Namaste, Deb. And namaste here for a few more minutes, as should you all. <laughs> for more information, you all head on over to hallmarkchannel.com.